Next on Good Taste, Nash on Naples' finest pizza from an L.A. couple who said bye-bye to the music biz and headed for Texas. It is amazing, like the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. Plus, rockin' Hub City Eats, ice cold beer. Wow, that is ice, ice cold. And one of West Texas' best burgers. And mighty fine meats, including sugar bacon at a trendy North Texas spot. Good taste starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Angie Patton. There are plenty of delicious pizza places out there and everyone's got their favorite, but pizza perfection isn't that far away. We found an adorable spot in Austin with pizza so good and so authentic, it's earned an official stamp of approval. It'll earn yours too. Spread the good word. Glorious Neapolitan-style pizza baked in a blazing wood-fired oven is hot and delicious in the hill country. Clap your hands, because that's not all that's cooking here at Pius Pizza. Pius also makes classic French pastries and heavenly homemade desserts that'll have you singing hallelujah. That is good. Another delight from this charming cottage juicy, peppery pastrami. We just love Pius. I love it, it's my favorite restaurant. This culinary congregation was inspired by a couple who left LA and the music biz on a pilgrimage looking for a simpler life for their young family. We threw caution to the wind. Armed with a special sourdough starter, they set their sights on the hills outside of Austin near Dripping Springs. Yeah, I had the starter packed up, but we didn't forgot our dog. <laughs> Their goal in this new adventure? To master the centuries-old art of Neapolitan pizza making. We're certified by the Italian government. It appears they've nailed it. Pizza and I have a relationship. This is where the relationship soars. <laughs> the fat queen is one righteous pie, built on a classic sourdough crust. Crispy on the outside, soft in the middle, with crushed tomatoes, Big chunks of mozzarella made in-house every day. House-smoked Italian sausage, spicy pepperoni, and slices of soppressata salami. That salami gets extra crispy when it's baked. For me, this is as close to Italy as it's gonna get. For the traditional margarita, Josh layers on the flavors, just like they do in Naples. This is just raw, organic tomatoes. And then we're gonna make the sauce on every single pizza. Perfect. Look at the color Perfect. of that, wow. He adds salt, Parmesan cheese, and more of that hand-pulled mozzarella. Then we're gonna put five basil leaves on there. Five? Well, <laughs> six, seven, four. You can just grab a handful, just throw them on there. It's delicious. That's quintessential Neapolitan pizza. Oh, man. I love their salads. The salads sing with a chorus of fresh choices like the garlicky classic Caesar, the mixed leaf salad with balsamic vinaigrette, or the popular choppy salad with hearts of romaine, fresh mozzarella, and fire roasted garbanzo beans, all tossed in a light, sweet honey vinaigrette. I was a vegetarian for 20 years, <laughs> seriously, and then my husband made me try the pastrami and converted me. Seriously, you'll be a convert too once you try this sensational pastrami. It's smoked in-house, served on a sandwich of homemade bread with whole grain mustard and a kosher dill pickle. Or you can order it deconstructed if you just want to nibble. It is amazing, like the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. Amazing doesn't stop there. Desserts are not to be missed. Scratch made and worth every single calorie. And this one is salted caramel cheesecake, chocolate brownie cheesecake, and a classic cheesecake. This is real cheesecake. Real cheesecake, yes. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Thank the you. Fresh blueberries. The tiramisu, some of our Italian friends say, is better than tiramisu in Italy. Oh, that is delicious too. It's such high quality chocolate that you eat it, and then you want to just lay on the floor and wiggle like a piece of bacon. How did you guys end up owning a restaurant? 
We met working in-house at a major label. We bonded over our love of food right away. We became fast friends. Josh and Paige married soon after and started a family. We were really burnt out in L.A. from the corporate life, so we just kind of wanted to get away, but to get away somewhere amazing. It's a burning flame. Like, we wanted to be in food, and um, no one was really going to tell us we couldn't be anymore. And our kids were little. We were getting older, and we said, if we're ever going to do this, this is the, like we have to do it. So did the pastries come first or the pizza? The sourdough bread was the first, first yeah. Okay. And that's what got us into Neapolitan pizza because Neapolitan pizza is more akin to artisan bread baking. Josh mastered artisan bread making along with classic French pastry making literally from trial and error. How long did it take you to learn this? To get it perfect just like you wanted it? Years. 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 But it's always a work in progress, little nuances of how you can improve your process. The flaky and delicious French pastries are sold next door at a cute coffee shop called Piety, where the coffee alone is worth the trip. But what put Pius on the map is the pizza. This is one of our signature pizzas. It's okay. called a bacon blue. We start with a fresh mozzarella. This one pops with blue cheese and gorgonzola. Then I get this sticky, sticky bacon marmalade. Bacon marmalade? Bacon marmalade. Gonna be good. Out of the oven, it's topped with fresh arugula and parma prosciutto. Mm -hmm. It's the gorgonzola and that bacon. Sorry, I can't stop eating it. You won't want to stop eating either. So just have another bite and enjoy at Pius. The best pizza I've ever had. I'll definitely be back. Who doesn't love pizza all the time, right? Well, this time of year, a lot of us are thinking diet. Thought I'd share one of our most popular recipes ever on GoodTaste.tv. It's packed with nutrition and could actually help you lose weight. It's called the Fat Flush Soup. It's loaded with healthy ingredients like chunky vegetables, lean protein, you could use chicken, pork, your choice, zesty spices, and fiber-filled beans that are known to fill you up and help regulate your blood sugar. It's great with a little squeeze of lime, just kind of adds a little brightness. You can get the recipe at goodtaste.tv. It's really good. Let me know how you like it. I'll be slurping right along with you. Coming up. A plump pork belly pleaser that'll have you squealing for sugar bacon. But up next, a rockin' road stop out in West Texas. Good times, good people. Where the good eats and party never end. There's a place for you at our table. Come right back. Good things come from Cisco. Welcome back. We found one of the best burgers in West Texas at a favorite stop for some of Texas country music's legends. When you think of West Texas, windmills, wide open spaces, and sensational sunsets come to mind. Also in the mix, cotton fields, cowboys, and comfort food. Those you'll find right here at the Cap Rock Cafe, deep in the heart of Red Raider land. Um, I just love this place, it's awesome. This longtime Lubbock spot is all about Big Eats, with big West Texas flavor. I clean my plate every time I come. Cap Rock Cafe boasts the absolute coldest brews on the high plains. Wow, that is ice, ice cold, yes. Big fun and friendly service where the party never ends. Cold beer, good times, good people. Cap Rock Cafe tips its hat to the heart of West Texas by paying homage to rodeo cowboys and the music legends who wrote the soundtrack to this part of the country. Joe Ely, Robert okay. King, Buddy Holly. The Cap Rock Cafe is like a mini Texas music museum. And we have a guitar over there from the Mains Brothers, which is a local band. Really? Yeah, all, every one of them has signed, signed that guitar. The road goes on forever. A line from a Robert Earl Keen song has become a catchphrase here, where a few famous faces are known to stop by, including one of my favorites, Joe Ely. When he's in town, you'll see him sitting out here on the patio having a beer. Are you serious? Yes. Cap Rock honors Texas music, but this spot also serves up some serious Texas food. Joe Grill. Like this double-stacked Cap Rock burger with two all-beef charbroiled patties dripping with American cheese, topped with sliced, grilled jalapenos, 
served on a buttered sourdough bun with all the fixings and a mountain of crispy French fries. Dip into Caprock's killer chips and pecos queso with spicy taco beef, real Velveeta cheese, and hatch green chilies. Best chips and queso in town. You can get that luscious queso scooped over your broccoli, too. It's one of the side dishes that comes with Caprock's juicy flat iron steak, char broiled in a special oven, also served with creamy mashed potatoes and a side of Texas toast. Feast your eyes on Caprock's chicken fried steak. Their version is smothered in a tangy green chili sauce, then sprinkled with cheddar jack cheese, served with more of those creamy mashed potatoes and broccoli. David C. comes from a restaurant family who knows the community well. My dad opened up Orlando's on Q in 1965, 52 years ago, for $1,500. Wow. And so, you know, we've been here ever since. How old were you when you started working in a My restaurant? My dad put me to work at 11, bussing tables for 85 cents an hour. I remember okay, back then, that's not bad. I, have, I had more disposable income back then than I do now. <laughs> 20 years ago, David and his partners, all Texas Tech alumni, came up with the Cap Rock concept after visiting a hard rock cafe. What were you wanting to create? Well, we decided, my partners and I, we decided that there was a niche in this market for really fun local places that had really cold beer, really good music, and really good comfort food. They gave Caprock their own West Texas twist. There's a lot of flavor in the food. Oh, uh, we use a lot of green chilies, a lot of habaneros, a lot of garlic, you know, and, and just anything that's spicy we use. It's that extra West Texas pizzazz you'll taste in their house specialty, the four alarm fire Texas Philly cheesesteak. So when you take our, our Philly cheesesteak, we add four ounces of onions. Grilled sirloin gets a spicy blast from green peppers and sliced jalapenos, chopped and sauteed together. Already from the grill, we're gonna bring it over. This is our uh, pecos queso. We, we put a good ladle on it, and we're gonna add one of our uh, special sides, which is bottle caps. Bottle caps? Bottle caps, they're breaded jalapenos. Mm. Mmm, whoa! Oh my gosh. I love this. Mmm. You got a winner. That's fantastic. What better way to wash down a cheesesteak than with one of Caprock's Bloody Mary margaritas? Mmm. Oh, that's good. Or a frosty schooner of cold beer. Got the frost all over the glass. Very good. We keep our beer at 28 degrees. We keep them in our deep freezers, and this drops the beer to about 10 degrees. Each pour perfectly measured for a frosty finish right to the top. Oh, oh my goodness, it's freezing cold it on your hands. Yes. So grab a cold one and get a real taste of West Texas at Cap Rock Cafe. Love the place. Up ahead, eating light, Try my diet-friendly wine finds. But next, ranch to table eats with a refined edge. That is delicious. North Texas delicious deli and whiskey bar. Keep your seat at the table. We'll be right back. Good Taste with Tangy is brought to you in part by HEB. Just north of the big sites of Big D sits the booming burg of McKinney. Here, the small town feel is very much alive. But we discovered this historic spot boasts some uptown eats, a hip ranch food reboot called Sugar Bacon Proper Kitchen. It's really one of my go-to places in McKinney. I love the name, I love Sugar Bacon. With a name like Sugar Bacon, it's no surprise, sweet or savory, smoky ranch style meats are all the rage. Finger looking good. Mm -hmm. We're talking juicy prime steaks and plump pork belly, served up on shareable plates, along with garden fresh salads, hearty sandwiches, and southern inspired entrees. It's in the old downtown district, and so it's got that nice old historic vibe. The vibe is just as fun as its name. Built in a rustic yet contemporary space in what was once the local filling station, 
with a sister sandwich shop right next door. They always care about the details of the food. Sugar bacon is farm to table all the way from a maestro of meats committed to keeping it real. A lot of our produce comes um, I think within almost like a 50 mile radius around Dallas. Our beef program alone um, is a very highly curated one that we work ranch to table. A difference you'll taste in this divine, double thick and juicy pork porterhouse, plated over a heavenly pile of hominy mixed with fresh green chilies, dressed with a harvest salad of arugula, crisp apples, pickled onions, and seasoned with ancho chili powder. The sugar bacon burger can't be beat. It has bacon uh, on it and then there's, and it's chopped up so when you eat it, the bacon doesn't all come off. It's a prime beef double-double burger with house ground sirloin and chuck, a luscious layer of white barbecue sauce with homemade mayo, melted cheese, and house-cured bacon served on a toasted bun with crispy hand-cut fries. Sugar bacon will have you with its ham board, a specialty of the house. You do all of the hams on here and each is done a different way. It is, it is. Okay. It's all done in-house and they take anywhere from three to 12 days. Each smoky slice with its own unique flavor. A little bit of a garlic and some smoked paprika. That is delicious. Awesome. Thanks. No time to nosh? Grab a sandwich next door at the Butcher Board Deli. We have our house cured ham and it's cured in a brown sugar sorghum uh, brine for nine days and then we smoke it and then roast it. It's the whole hog here, literally. Stacked with house smoked pulled pork and apple smoked bacon. Made as a breakfast sandwich with a farm fresh fried egg. Does one person really eat all that? Yes ma'am. I bet some, whoa, I bet some get too. <laughs> I knew that yolk was gonna go. <laughs> mm. Part of my cooking philosophy is always, you know, stay as natural as possible, stay seasonal, you know, work with what's around you. Something this modern day hunter gatherer has taken to heart. Okay, so you're into foraging. I, I am. And you're, um, you're one of a select group, I think, <laughs> in this area. Kind of surprising. Um, you know, every, every time I go out, there seems to be something new that I discover. Mushrooms, chicory, honeysuckle, wild ingredients all discovered around McKinney that inspire sugar bacon's fresh and local cuisine. It's kind of interesting to see the restaurants cooking like they do now and sourcing all local. It's kind of like what our grandmothers did. That's how I grew up. Um, it wasn't a fad, you know, it was our everyday way of life. From a chef who went cooking in his grandmother's kitchen to some of the finest kitchens in the country. Went to Chicago, did a little stunt with uh, Charlie Trotter. Um, that was, what was that like? That was great. It was tough Maybe and demanding, but it was very much worth it at the, at the end of the day. A drive for excellence he now brings to every dish he prepares, including the super popular namesake starter, sugar bacon. Pork belly with a sauce on it. This thick and meaty pork belly takes three days to prepare. First, it's brined then smoked and braised. It's deep fried, then marinated in a smoky ancho chili Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. Look how tender that is. <laughs> oh, whoa. We're in Texas. Wash it all down with a sip from one of Sugar Bacon's whiskey flights, featuring Texas grain to glass distilleries like Rebecca Creek in San Antonio and Iron Root Republic in Denison. Okay, they're all totally totally different. Yeah. It's all super good at Sugar Bacon. We're definitely going to come back again. Cheers. Cheers. Time for my wine finds and I found a red wine for less than $15 that I am loving for the new year. But first, if you're still celebrating all things new, but maybe on a diet, Prosecco is a wonderful choice. Proseccos often have less calories than wine, and this one is delicious. It is perfect for salads and lighter fare. It's also really nice all by itself, the Lamberti Extra Dry. You're going to taste some lovely fruit notes, green apples and melons on this one, and it's only $14 a bottle. Up next, I chose another salad wine. If you're like me, I'm, I'm doing salads this time of year. 
This is the Silk Oak Sauvignon Blanc. Now this wine pairs with all kinds of things, fish, chicken, light or fair. It's a little bit rounder style Sauvignon Blanc. It has some melon and citrus flavors. There's even a hint of oak on this wine. It's a great buy at about $12 a bottle, Silk Oak. All right, red fans, I was so excited to find this wine. It is so good. It's a Malbec from Chile. The Grand Reserve of Malbec, made by the Concha y Toro folks, which by the way, if you ever go to Chile, it is worth a visit to this winery. It is stunning. This wine has beautiful flavors of black plums, blueberries, and dark cherries. Very soft tannins, so it too is wonderful all by itself. I can imagine cozying up to a fire, maybe a bowl of beef stew, and a glass of this delicious wine. It's only $14 a bottle. As always, I found all my wines at HEB. Ready for some relaxation? Up next, how you could win a relaxing weekend at the beautiful Houstonian Hotel and Spa. How about a weekend away, complete with spa treatments? This could be your chance. Sign up right now at goodtaste.tv for a chance to win a luxurious weekend at the Houstonian Hotel. This getaway includes relaxing spa treatments at the award-winning Trellis Spa, along with breakfast from the Houstonian's signature restaurant, Olivet. Don't forget to talk to us on social media. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And as always, if you missed any... Till next week, cheers to good taste.